Now Shalina, yeah that's me, I interview people, yeah that's me, I interview people, yeah that's me. Okay people. <laughs> Alright, y'all, welcome to the Street Talk with Natalie and I. I am your host, Natalie and I, and we are sitting here with my special guest, Riz Kay. Hey! Here, not Riz Kay, but Riz Kay. Okay, you are pretty young. <laughs> so, y'all, I have known her whew, for a long time. We just were talking about it like 15 plus years. Yeah. She tried to drown when we was kids. No! <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. No, I just shook the boat. <laughs> I just rocked the boat. I she knew I was already in tears. And she said, it's gonna be okay to watch this. <laughs> Oh no, I saw my mama, my mama just kept calling for me, but <laughs> we tried to kill me, but it's no, okay. Never. So, let's get right into it. So, what inspired you to start making, you know, the different memes and the videos and stuff like that? Well, first of all, it just started because people being around me always say, you're so funny, you're so funny. So, I'm just like, really? I think just nothing is funny. So, when they thought that I was tickled as hell, like, you know, just getting... Being funny, just socially or whatever, that's just where it started from. So, when social media got heavier, because, you know, when we had, like, Bebo and MySpace, it won't, like, posting funny stuff. Yeah, oh. yeah, but, you know, now, the platform that's out here, they posting funny sh stuff. Like, you know, it can just be anything. So, then, I was like, let me just take advantage of this. Like, let's see where it can go. Right. But, you know, doing... Like stand up and stuff, that's just not the avenue I want to go down. But just okay. internet, funny, comedy, social, stuff like that. So, so why not go down there? Because you know, once you take off or once the, you know, the platform grows, you know, a lot of times, like what's her name, Just Hilarious? Oh, yeah. Funny. Okay. Funny, yes, now that bug is crazy. Oh, it kind of yeah. still has baby mom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to her, but you know, she does shows. Yeah. So, would you be open to that? Well, I tried it, and I did stand up, and it just was a no-go because, you know, I think I'm trying to smoke before, and then I got on stage, I was froze, like, <laughs> like, I literally was up, yes, I literally stood up there and was like, cricket, 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 I froze. So it was just like, so it was like, okay, I don't want to do this, but for stuff like open mic or just me having something already you know to go up there with i would like rather do that instead of just okay. getting up there letting the jokes flow that's just not the avenue that i want to go down because it's just not for me i'm just boom funny like boom i can't get up there and be like what's up chicago we out here tonight <laughs> like well right. really bull city because that's where i people myself yeah. but anyway yeah no i'm just saying you know you heard yeah. comedians be like what whatever city or where they said it is that's how it would go but I understand up. See now, I want to act. I want to be in some. I don't really feel like you can do that. Yeah, that's what I. That's that's more my cup of tea right there. So have you went to like any auditions or just you know? No, I was filling out these little things. You know, when you see a little ad or something come up on your phone, I sh I linked with them and they tried to get me. I think to come to Virginia, but my work schedule wouldn't allow me to get there, and so I was just like, well, back to the internet I go. Just you know, just to do what. My people want right now. So that's just why I stay right there. I really want to get to my big uncle, Tyler Perry. You know, I'm trying to get to Atlanta. But to check out the Tyler Perry studio. We got to talk to you because I got something planned. Yeah. Too mm -hmm. We definitely got to talk to you. Yeah, very interested in that. Okay, yes. so um, my other question is, how was it making your very first video? Like, did you struggle? Was you trying to do it by yourself? Well... It is a struggle, especially, you know, if nobody's there to hold my camera for me or I don't have nothing to prop my phone up on. And I'm like, dang, sometimes the real thing is me just trying to think of some content. Okay. Now, I just be like, okay, what if I do this and nobody don't like it? That's what I really be trying to think. Like, I don't think nobody don't think it's funny. But when I drop it, people go crazy. Yeah. I'm like, huh? Y'all thought this was, you know, so that really just throws me for a whole loop when people think something that I didn't really put much energy into, mm -hmm. they really praise it and uplift it. And I'm like, oh, yeah. yeah, that's lit as hell. That's how it is, though, too. So it's just like, dang. Because some interviews, I'm like, well, they, you know, it's a good interview, but they might not like it. But as soon as I post it, yeah, oh, it gets, shoot, uh -huh. I'm just like, bro. The numbers don't lie, right? Yeah, that's the way it means the numbers don't lie. So, so I gotta get to it. Oh, so y'all, the Missy Elliott. Oh yeah, the Missy. I can't stand. The Tony. Don't even go into it. 
Yeah. Lord, bad example. Yeah, I mean, put some bad. Oh. Sorry, mama, mama. <laughs> no, I was Look literally it. sitting at the crib, bored. It's raining. My friend at the crib with her kids. So I'm like, girl, what you doing? She like, man. So I'm like, okay. Once we talk a little bit, I got off the phone. I got to work cutting bags, taping them up together, taping them on me. I, I wanted to go down there ready. She's she my neighbor, so okay. I wanted to be ready. Like, <laughs> so I'm cutting the bags, putting them on. But mind you, I had saw a similar video to this okay. about two years ago, and it was just sitting, mm -hmm. just sitting. I was like. You know, that's why I was like, damn, this Marina, I should do that Missy video. Just to see. What? Girl, when I say, I went down there, bags on my head. All you can see was my eyes and my hands, kind of. <laughs> I take bags up everywhere. It could, I couldn't blow them up, but I just take them on. Okay, period. Feet getting wet, so I had slides on. Black, black socks, but still, just, mm -hmm. I'm out there killing it. Bye, bye. Right. I tell you, she did it. When I say, I posted it on TikTok first. Okay. That's, that seems like it be the move now. Yeah, I posted it on TikTok and they lost it. That was like, they really lost it like 45.2K mm -hmm. in like 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, they lost it over that video. So I'm like, yo, this is crazy. So, you know, I went ahead and had to throw it on the ground, throw it on the book. I was the fuck weak. Okay. But guess where it got noticed first? Twitter. It went crazy mm -hmm. on, and I didn't really, I'm not heavy on Twitter. A lot of people aren't, but that's the spot, too. Yeah, I want to get, like, involved. So, I'm going to just try to get all my platforms to have the same name so you can find me easy. But, exactly. um, I'm just, I wasn't on Twitter like that. So, I got Facebook rec um, alerts like, Riggs. Missy got you on Twitter. Rick, Missy got you on Twitter. I'm like, what? Missy got me on Twitter. Not even thinking like, what did she put? You know, what? Did she just re re repost the video? What she literally posted that on her page. She I posted the video like, on her page, and I'm like, wait a minute. I need Twitter, so girl, I'm trying to make an account, trying to get see like what I need to do to get access to this video. So I saw it. But by the time I made a um, Twitter, my girl had posted it on her Instagram, and it went crazy. Like, over a million views on her page, like, you know, like that. Oh, yeah. And, and not only did she post it, t Boss posted it, and I want to say Sierra commented on one of theirs. Okay. But, yeah, it was just like, yeah. Good. Getting this recognition, it was just like hyping me up, like OMG. Now, what I do regret not doing is continuing to have content after that got me. Oh. I didn't have nothing ready to drop right after that was getting so much headway. And I'm like, okay, but I mean, a little while down the line, I was just doing like little more TikToks, you know, that was getting a little buzz, but I just wish I would have had another project. <coughs> Like, you know, just, and that Missy thing was just so crazy, so, I want to, I might, you know, jump back into doing what celebrities are already out here doing, like, remaking their videos, just something funny, but put my spin onto it, so just to see where that would go, because that did so good, you know? Cool. Mm -hmm. So, what upcoming events do you have? Well, right now, with this damn COVID, not much <laughs> coming up, but... Um, just still TikToking, just seeing what I could release to see what will pop. Just dibbling and dabbling. No major projects right now. Um, I was no hosting or nothing right now. So just take me out. Book, 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 book. Yeah, let's go to thing down. Already, I host any event. Yes, baby. Shower, was wedding reception. Okay, she didn't host Bar mitzvahs. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, so just taking it, taking it, taking it. Cool. Would you say um like your your funny side came from more so like your childhood or like the things you've been through? Well, yes and no, because my parents are kind of funny, so I feel like hey, I might have it honest from them. Okay. But I feel like I'm the funnier of the three. <laughs> but still, they kind of funny. But it's just my funny is more relatable, you know, yeah, more just right out here, boom, get it included like that. So okay. yeah. So where do you see yourself five years from now? Just within this field. You continue to go. Hopefully I'm acting okay. and 
just doing, even if it's not major, doing some something in film. Like I, I want to just, that's what avenue I want to take. More so than just being like funny videos. I want to do like whole comedies. Like I want to oh, do yeah. a role. Like, yeah, that's just. You have to work with me like Yeah. Man, I, would, <laughs> I would go and pay to see that. Like, Girl, I would hit the floor. Please. Yes, that's what that's I would love. Old movie. Okay, ready. Ready for that. That's what I like. Mm -hmm. So who, who motivated you? Who pushed you to, you know, continue to do what you do as far as like your, you know, Instagram videos, reels, you know, stuff like that? It's really just the people, fans, I guess, you know, fans of my work or what I'm doing. People like on my page, followers and all of that, just like, yo, this is funny. Thank you for this video. I was having a bad day and I watch your video now, I'm, you know, I'm good. Yeah. And I'm like... So wow! Motivating. Yes, okay. like that's, that's just like big in itself. Just that you, even if you just helping one person, like mm -hmm. it really have an effect on you. For somebody to reach out to you and like say that you're doing this for me, and I'm like, wow, really? And I and I didn't even put much into what I was doing, and I'm I'm doing that for you, and that's big for me. So that's I really good. appreciate it. Yep. Oh, so proud! You know, she tried to drown me. You know, I'm not getting this far. <laughs> no, no, I'm too weak. Oh, but, you yeah. know what? I have to find that clip from um the Next Level show when we were loading up to go to DC. Y'all, she in this video with bonnet on, all of it. <laughs> Keep up with me, stay following my socials. You gonna put me in with yourself? Mm -hmm. Or shout it out or what? Yep. Shout okay, my Instagram <laughs> <laughs> is underscore underscore risque. R I S S Q U E. Facebook, Marissa Risque Morris. And like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and get that Twitter up and running. And yes, you yes. can follow my TikTok, underscore underscore risque as well. I don't know some of the dance. I like to do them lip sync ones when they do the action. Oh yeah, of course. Corvette, Corvette. All right, yeah. <laughs> we need to do a TikTok too. That's real. Yeah, that's gonna be, that's gonna rock. That's gonna rock. That's gonna rock. Yeah, that's fast. Yes, my. So, who is your favorite comedian? I would say, old new. Um, favorite comedian. I right now new. I am losing it over dang on Desi Banks. He Yo, cracks me the heck up. Do you hear me? He's taking over. Yeah, I love Desi. Damn, but also, like we said earlier, Jess, yeah. she just, like, she just goes in so many directions. She's funny, and then I love the accent. Boom, that pow. But, oh, I would have to say, um, that was hard. Yeah, that was hard. Like, <laughs> I mean, and I love, you know, black comedians, white comedians. I just, I just. Love it all. Yeah. And even with the different types of humor. You know, you got falling out humor. You know, dry humor. All of it just really gets me. So, it's like hard to pick a favorite. But if I have to pick one, it would be, um. I'm ready to get this one. Girl, I, I don't, uh, I don't even know. Um, my brain is like literally going like. Please not pick Kevin. Monique. Well, you know, like. <laughs> okay, so two. Okay, yeah, Kevin Hart. I love Kevin Hart just because of like what we heard, like Boom and Pow, and just because I was compared to her just for years. Monique just automatically makes my list of a favorite. Facts. So I would definitely have to pick those two. So yeah. Okay. Do you think somebody like me? Because I mean, I don't think I'm funny. People do, but I. Yes, I'm yes. funny in your own way. You yes, just love it. Oh, no. so do you think I could honestly pick up like comedy or just be able to transform myself to be funnier? Or is it just more so like a natural thing? You would be, be a way that you can make somebody funny. No, you can definitely make yourself funnier. And it's also, you know, you can't tell people what to interpret from you. You can get, you can give like, hey, this is what I'm going for. But if they be like, 
Oh no, you gave me da 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 vibes or something. You can. That's what they took from it. Now you know, people who can't sing, they would take lessons and learn how to sing. So you definitely can get mentored or taught or even watch YouTube on you know. <laughs> Right. Become funnier, so it's it's definitely possible. So people it. out there watching, there is a way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It is definitely a way. Um, I know just from like looking at your page, where you used to do your videos on the bus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't have my students on there or the driver when I'm on exactly. there. Exactly. Yes. Glad. Look, no. They try to take a girl. Girl, you know, but that would just be crazy. But. Once the buses are parked, and of course they're not moving, once they're parked, I'm just up there wilding out because it's probably like a video when I had no kids and we was heading to the lot or something. I'm scrolling and I see a video like, bro, if I was to do this on the bus, that would be stupid funny. So once I had got my job working on the school bus, I was like, wow, this is a new place for me to start doing more videos. Exactly. So I had to take advantage. So yes. Yeah. So what would be your favorite one? Um. And hey, listen, them damn videos funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's funny is when I'm acting like I'm talking to them kids and it don't be nobody on. Like telling them to go sit down. I said, girl, the bus ain't moving. Ain't nobody on the bus with me. I'm just up there wilding out like, do you want me to call your mama? Sit down. Put that seatbelt on. Ain't got a seatbelt on the bus. You know what I'm telling them? It's just stuff like that. It, because that, that takes my imagination and gets the sort of new heights because it's like, girl, who are you talking to? Like, my silly one. Like, you know, so it just, that's my own thing. So that's the ones I like, the ones I have the most fun recording. And I really enjoy um, watching people rap about the snacks or like the food. Uh, when I tell you, that was funny as hell. Girl, stay How did you come up with that? Like, it just, sometimes it's, you know, boom, right off the top of the dome. Because me and my friend, we'd be trying to think we can rap, be freestyling or whatever. <laughs> Lord have mercy. But he's way better than me doing it. But um, we just, whatever word wants to come out, that's what's going to come out. So it's either going to be funny or not. But most of the times it's funny. So that's how I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm rap, rap about. Just love rapping about food. Love eating it too. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Yes, definitely. So, do you have any more encouraging words for people that's trying to, you know, be in your field or just, you know, looking up to you? Um, just overall, don't give up on anything you have going on. Just because it's not happening right now or taking off right now, don't mean your time is not coming. And you never know who's watching or who's going to repost you because, yeah, keep your pages open because they want to put your stuff in your story and if it's private that can't happen. Say that again. If your page is private no one can add it to their story so I just learned that so I just made my page open. Oh, yeah. okay. My Facebook <laughs> has always been open though but my IG was private but now they're all open. As soon as they click it's like damn I can't even Yeah because especially if you want to post it in your story so I'm like who is that? They try to see it. Oh, this this user is on um, private. So now, boom, one less flight away, you know. Yeah. That's but true. anyway, yeah. So never give up. Oh no, she's finally on the show. Yes, ma'am. We've been trying to get into a little minute. Listen, for yeah. The longest. Okay. I'm glad to be here. Oh. I'm hyped. Love this. And video coming soon. Guys. Coming soon for real. Y'all better check it out. And I'm not playing. No. Sorry, I'm playing. But no, I'm not playing. <laughs> Thank yes. y'all for tuning into the streets talk with Natural Nine. I am your host, Natural Nine. This is my special guest. Risque. Hey.